What's happening guys, it's your boy Wolfie here we are back and what we have got for you today is another custom tactic video but with a little bit of a difference okay so what we are doing today in today's video is I'm showing you the best custom tactics for use for high pressing and to winning the ball back if you're like me and you like to be aggressive with your defending etc then make sure that you do use these custom tactics I feel like they will help you a lot especially if you're like the problem people are having at the moment is they're running like a 5-3-2. Don't get me wrong, 5-3-2 is a very good formation, but they're running it in a very defensive manner. I don't play the 5-3-2 in a defensive manner. Today's video isn't 5-3-2, by the way, but these are the best custom tactics that I use for a high press. I will obviously play a live game in Division Rivals and then show you the custom tactics after because normally when I do these custom tactics video, I show you the custom tactics first, then watch a game. And what I've noticed is people see the custom tactics and just dip. So I'm being a little bit of a sellout with it and showing you the custom tactics after the live game. So I will let you on in a little bit of a secret though. The custom tactics that I do run in terms of like the formation it is a 4-3-1-2. If you guys have seen my 4-3-1-2 custom tactics video anyway, which I dropped I think it was about two weeks ago. You guys will know these custom tactics anyway. But this is kind of just like a refresher for you guys and this is in particular... For you guys that want the high pressing game. Because I like the high pressing game. I'm all about that. The press after possession loss is the key custom tactic. That I would recommend that you guys run. Especially when you want to put pressure on your opponent. And stuff like that. Definitely recommend running that. 100%. What is that team? I've spent a lot of money mate. <laughs> I've spent less. No I'm not, I'm not capping it. I've spent a lot of money. <laughs> there's, there's no capping. So this guy is running a 5 back. So we have gone into my um, attacking high pressing custom tactics. I will show you it for the full game. Go on Trent. You can win that son. Go on. And you'll notice as well that I've dropped Team of the Year Van Dyke. First game on as well, by the way. So this might be a bit bad. Good tackle. I have dropped Team of the Year Van Dyke. You remember I always tell you how much of a fraud Team of the Year Van Dyke is when he's been dropped for this game. Reese James is going in at centre back. We're mixing it. Oh, come on. You can play that ball and back. Hey, come on. Nice Walker. Walker's insane, by the way. I absolutely love him. But yeah, so it is a 4 3 1 2 now. Oh, we can't even get out here at the moment. We haven't been able to get out of here. Oh, he's... Oh. Pele's gone. That's an unbelievable ball. No. So, you see here, look. You see my team already really high at the pitch with a high press. This is why I use these custom tactics for this high pressing game. I feel like it is... From what I've used, it's the best custom tactics you can use. And again, with that... Pe Reese James, mate. Are you going off for... Why can't I find a good centre-back that I like? This gameplay, by the way, is criminally bad. The, oh my god, yeah, my hullet's not even passing the ball when I want him to. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be a rip of a game. You are going to see a loss in terms of this game. I think I'm playing in full on like two second delay. There's not a lot I can do. I pass the ball there with Hullet. He takes another touch and I get the ball nicked off me. Ban. Cheers for coming. First game on, just like we want to see. Uh, who Who's that mod that's actual Emperor? Who is that? How you doing, mate? But yeah, so in terms of the narrow, the narrow for me is still probably my favourite formation this year. Again, man, I'm literally passing the ball here. My players aren't passing it. Like, what, what is going on in this game? Wait, whoa, this is really... YouTube, this is really bad. Whoa, this is like really, really, really bad, this gameplay. The problem you've got, I'm trying to show you the custom tactics to use for high press. You can't play high press when the game plays this bad. You, you can't. When the game, this is in terms of like what you guys need to understand, okay? Is the reason that you guys are probably losing certain games in the weekend league is when the game plays bad, you have to mix up the way you play. You have to play a lot slower. You have to just drop back, blah, blah, blah. And when the game plays like this, I wouldn't normally play this high pressing game because my players can't react quick enough. I'm passing the ball with my players and they're literally taking an extra touch every single time. So, this is what you got. A little bit of a tip here for foot champs. If the game plays like this, you do just need to play a lot more slower. You do need to defend a lot more solid and stuff like that. A little bit of a tip there for you, actually. If you are anyone that always moans about bad game playing the weekend. Like, there, I've passed the ball with Trent and he's took another touch. Like, ah. Uh, Man, this is real. YouTube, this is really bad. Jeez, Louise. But yeah, so the 4-3-1-2, though. Unbelievable formation. Probably one of my favourites. Like, that's a beautiful goal, Van Aan. In terms of the high pressing and stuff like that, it's really it's so annoying. It's really hard to show you when the gameplay is this slow. But you will see my team with the press after possession loss. As soon as I lose the ball, they will dart at the pitch and almost go like team press for a good like three or four seconds, which is key. Because what will happen normally is you will very much smother your opponent and very much leave him very suffocated kind of thing. Is he going to score straight from kickoff again? 
Good tackle. Walk. walk is so good, man. I love him. But yeah, so in terms of the narrow, though, the narrow is a formation that you do need to use your fullbacks with. I don't I don't know how people are using narrow and not having their fullbacks on, like, balance or something. This gameplay. Oh, my. Oh, my God. What is this today? What? YouTube, what is this? What is this gameplay, man? What is this? This is so bad. All right, is this... Oh, man, I might just redo this video tomorrow when the gameplay's a bit better. What is this? There you go. But you see there, high press, counter-attacking. Thank you very much. Ronaldo chips the keeper, 2-1. But you see there with the high press, and then having your full-backs on balanced, um, balanced play. Boom, boom, boom. Thank you for coming. That's what the counter-attack can do. Ronaldo isn't missing. A little bit of a device. If surely you guys know at this point on FIFA 21, but chips are very, very, very effective this year. Okay, they always seem to hit the target. So as long as you put the right power on it to get it going the net, it'll go in because they always seem to hit the target. But yeah, with the narrow, you see how the team. I like the way the narrow sets on, man. I've I've been a big. F I didn't pass that ball to Hullet at all. Pele, 3 1. Thank you very much. I, funnily enough, I did not pass that ball to Hullet there. That was mental. But we take that. But you see there with the narrow, having the two strikers and that middle cam behind the two strikers. It's been something that I think I really liked and have done for a very long time. Corner, is it me or is team the year now not worth 9 million? Like, it's good, but firstly. Um, the problem is, Kush is, is, I don't really think any player is worth 9 million, mate. Like, the problem is, is I don't think any player on any FIFA is worth 9 million coins. Like, Team of the Year Ronaldo will not be, like, nine times better than the normal Ronaldo. Does that make sense? He just won't be. Oh, he's done me there. Fair play. Wow. Like, the fl that flashback Ronaldo is just, like, he's, I swear he's just as good. Not as just as good as the team. The thing that the Team of the Year Ronaldo has, he's a lot more quicker, I know. It's like... If I go back to normal Ronaldo from this, one thing I'll notice straight away is just how quicker the Team of the Year one is. And don't get me wrong, I, I like Team of the Year Ronaldo. I'm just saying I don't think he's worth the coins, that's all. Does that make sense? There's Hullet. Hullet, Hullet for me, is like the only player. Maybe Team of the Year Bruno this year is cracked, by the way. YouTube, if you haven't already used, if you can get an opportunity to use Team of the Year Bruno, use him, man. He's so good. Oh, he's offside. That's my bad. <laughs> Man, this guy loves a bridge, doesn't he? This is all he does. There's that pace of Reese James at centre back, though. Van Dijk's not intercepting that. I promise you. I'll tell you what, I think this Reese James Carl Walker partnership's here to stay. But you see there with the narrow having the fullbacks on balance, look. Oh, so that's awful for me. Having the fullbacks on balance is key. The press have the possession loss. This guy is very much just attacking the wings, so. There's Carl Walker. Amazing centre back. But yeah, so with the narrow U2, one thing you do need to notice is obviously with these custom tactics, you will be left a little bit isolated at the back. If you can defend comfortably in like 1v1 situations, so you're comfortable defending with one defender against one attacker, you're laughing to the bank with narrow, really. You're laughing to the bank. The, the, the key with narrow is defending them 1v1 situations that you will have against you. If you can defend them, that's so bad for me. If you can defend them, then you're, you're winning, trust me. But you see there with the high press, literally right there. That right there is a high press. That right there is the high press. Oh, of course he blocks it. But you see there, winning the ball back high at the pitch. Gives you better opportunities to score some goals. It's why I think these are the best custom tactics for high presses. For me personally, with the high press, it's, it has to be in good gameplay. Though, Like I said at the start of the video, when the gameplay's bad, which this game is here, oh my god, you're, you're in for a real rough game. Believe you me, you're in for a real rough game. Bro, what I've learned is don't take tips from pros. Why would you not take tips from pros? Uh, yeah, bro, for sure. Who do you think is the best striker? The best striker in the game for me is Team of the Year, CR7. Definitely. One question, how you got such a good team on your RTG? What, my road to glory? This isn't my road to glory, if you're asking that. <laughs> my road to glory is a different team. My road to glory... Could, to be fair, my road to glory could have been sick if I actually, like... If I were, if I played my road to glory every weekend league, all 30 games, man, my team would be cracked on the road to glory. But... I have one question for... On player switching, would you advise letting go of L2, R2 and switching? Does it really matter? No, I keep hold of mine, Clarky, mate. I keep holding mine. How much more would Mbappe be if he had blue hair on his team of the year? I reckon you could have... If he had blue hair on in-game, I reckon you could add another mil. On my other account, my team is not good on my road to glory. I'll tell you that for a fact. My team on my road to glory is doo-doo, I think. But yeah, so in terms of the high press again, YouTube... Um, 
be wary and you've got to be concentrated with it. Okay, so like, look at that. You see Trent look pressing to win the ball back. Reese James. One thing I would advise is definitely having like quick centre backs. Although I would advise, I mean, I'd advise having quick centre backs on FIFA 21 anyway, just because the way the game is. Reese James. Reese James is like perfect. Like, see how good he is this year. Man, this game plays so bad, man. Jesus. There's that narrow though. There's the fullbacks overlapping, little one two inside. Ah, oh, you read. Man, I'll tell you what, the AC is Kaleb is like literally the best right back, centre back. Everything on the game. Everything on the game that he is, he's the best at. Best right back on the game, best centre back on the game. Like, no cap. Thank you. Good bit of positioning there from Reshames. That's what I mean with the narrow guys, alright? You need to be comfortable defending him in them 1v1 situations, like so. Good ball from Bruno. If you're comfortable defending in the 1v1 situations, you're, you're honestly chilling so much with Nara. Obviously, if you aren't comfortable defending the 1v1 situations, then I would reckon... Oh, how's that not gone in from our CR7, by the way? Good ball. Mbappe. There's the high press. Even though he is offside, you see the high press there from CR7? Bang. But then, everyone, how you doing, mate? What are you saying? I recommend taking tips from the guy on one of the above. You don't try to take so much time. Take so much step. I disagree, because, like, me... Although, I do know what you're saying, though. I do know what you're saying, to real. I, I do know what you're saying. But, at the same time, what a pro does and what... The main, the main difference, I promise you this, the main difference between a professional FIFA player and a goal two player is decision-making. Like, I'm being serious. The main thing... Like, seriously, the main thing is decision-making. Like, how often does a pro make a wrong decision, really? Versus how many times do you like if you're a goal two player to rule how many times do you make a wrong decision in a fever game you know that's the honestly from what from my experiences in events and stuff that that even even to this day is the main difference between like tex and say like a a top 100 player is decision making obviously tex can do some delusional stuff as well there's no denying that but the main difference is tex makes the right decision a lot more than he makes the wrong decision oh, our pass was meant for cr7 Goal three player height. Up the goal. Hey, the goal three players beat me every weekend. So. Goal three players beat me every single weekend without fail. So there's no debate in that. I thought this guy was going to quit, actually. When he when he pulls that button at 3-1, I thought he was dipping. I thought he was out here. Go on, mate. Do that bridge. He actually tried to do the bridge again. This guy just does the bridge every time. Get a new skill move, my guy. See, I can bridge. My bridge works, though. Ref! Hey, on the ball. You see there, look, look at how my team is already up the pitch with the high, uh, with the high press custom tactics YouTube. Definitely, oh, I, lo I love the high press, man. I love it. Problem is, though, you need to have good gameplay. If you don't have good gameplay, it's a rip. Walker, don't dive in. Love that from you, buddy. You see there, though, like I said earlier, you need to be comfortable defending 1v1 situations. If you are, you're chilling. You really are chilling. This, I'll tell you what, this gameplay is genuinely disgusting, what I'm playing right now. There's Rudy. You see that high press again? I love the high press. Look, they're winning the ball back. Look, your team's swamping all over them. I love it. Ronaldo, that goal right there has just come from using press after possession loss, playing high at the pitch. Honestly, it's what the best. The, oh, honestly. 4 3 1 2 high press. The best. Ah, right, corner you go. I'm just recording a YouTube video, mate. Once I'm done, the alerts will be back on. Uh, perhaps that this video is bad for gameplay. Be a good idea. What? Custom tactics for bad. You know what, actually? You know what? For a custom tactics video for bad gameplay. I never actually thought of that. That's a good idea. YouTube, if you're still watching at this point, what what are we in? 14 minutes in. If you are still watching at this point, drop a comment down below. Would you guys want to see a um custom tactics video for bad gameplay? Ah, is it? That's a good idea. 352 or 532, 532 for me. Alright, 532, if you use it right, is actually very good. There's a chance highlights on the YouTube. There is, mate, yeah. I try and have at least, like, one set of highlights for my chums. Connor, my man. You go. Unfortunately, the alerts have been muted while I'm recording, my guy. My guy. Thank you, bro. Absolute goat. Yeah, this guy just bridges, man. If, if any of you on YouTube played like this guy, by the way, the bridge has been nerfed, mate. This guy was playing, like, two patches ago, no? There's that ball. Mbappe's in. Little dink. Thank you very much. Like I said at the start, little dink. They were 5-1 up. 
we're chilling. It's fine. Plays off Kem. A massive issue. I oh, know. As long as you've got 100 team, Kem, mate. Kem's not an issue, I think. Who's better, Pele or Nazario? Uh, R9. Yeah, R9. I like Pele, though. Pele's good. Boy. You see there with the narrow again, like I said, I keep saying it, but I'm going to be like a broken record, but I want to drill it into your head. If you're comfortable defending the 1v1 situations, the narrow is perfect. I promise. The narrow is perfect. If you're comfortable, go on, mate, do the bridge. I know you want to. No. I think he actually wanted to do the bridge there. I think he actually wanted the bridge. Go on, mate, Bridget. Go on, mate, Bridget. 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 Oh. I thought he was going to bridge it again. Imagine if he did. Good ball. Good ball. Pelé, mate, mate, that run. That's it. That's how you bridge properly, by the way. Oh, you lucky boy. You see there with the high press. Look at my team. Look, look, you force your opponent into the mistakes. Look, again, he's making mistakes. Admittedly, he's 5-1 down. So, is he playing as much as he would normally? But you, you force your opponent into these mistakes. Oh, no, he's offside. Why am I passing that ball to him? What am I doing? Connor, mate, seriously, bro. Thank you for the bits. I will uh, shout you out properly after this game. Don't worry. Bang, there you go. Look at that narrow, baby. What's CR7's heading like? Oh. Little flick over. Bang. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Well, at least we've shown a full game. Like, the last game we did a custom tactics video was only a... Uh, the guy quit, didn't it? Like, 3-0. You see here with the narrow, you see how much you force your opponents into mistakes kind of thing. Something that I really do enjoy with the narrow. Something that I always have enjoyed with the narrow. Especially with the high press on the narrow. It just works perfectly. Yeah, I am. I am, DZ, man. I'm doing this for YouTube, man. So, Reese James, mate. All you, buddy. Oh, really? Keep up. Nice. How did Reece James not win that, by the way? I'm like, by the way, I'm trying a little experiment out today. Van Dyke's Van Dyke's been benched, right? No cap, Van Dyke's actually been benched. So I'm trying out like Walker and Trent at centre back. No, Walker and James at centre back. Go on, mate, bridge, bridge, bridge. <laughs> that was a penalty. <laughs> he got, he got. Like, I got away with that. That was definitely a penalty. Oh, I didn't actually see that guy there. Bench for Phil Jones. Phil Jones, you know. Hey, he's dinked me, like I said at the start of the video. Get your little dinky dinks out. Little chips work on this game. Oh, is he really celebrating in the night? Oh. I think the guy's a bit triggered that we beat him. And he's going to get on. He, he's actually on YouTube, his ass whooping as well. <laughs> Enjoy it. Uh, apparently, Sabre, Neymar might be coming out on Friday. Well, if it is Neymar, but it might be coming out on Friday. Uh, is Walker Inform way better than his goals on his right? Yeah, no, Walker Inform's quality. I don't know because I've never really used the right back version of centre back. But the centre back version's quality. Right, anyway, YouTube, I will now show you the custom tactics that I do use for the 4 3 1 2 and the high press. For me, they work wonders. Again, remember with custom tactics, tweak a little bit. If you don't like certain things, change it. If you do like certain things, mix it up. It's always worth the change, you know. It's always worth trying to manip not manipulate, but try and tweak a little thing here and there for your own playstyle. Everyone's playstyle is different. This is, of course, for the high pressing game and trying to win the ball back early, putting your opponent under pressure kind of thing. So I will now show you the custom tactics again. I really like them. They work for me. Hopefully they work for you. So, 4-3-1-2. Press after possession loss. 5 width, 6 depth. Okay, remember, we are on the high press. You don't want to be down at like 4 depth. You want to be up at 6. Your offensive style, I always play balanced. I don't like long ball. I know some of you do like long ball, but for me, I don't. Fast build-up and possession are literally absolute doo-doo. Please don't use them. 6 width and 6 players in the box. The width helps in terms of like the full backs with them overlapping because you'll see on my player instructions why that is. Two corners and two free kicks. Even though it is high press, I just always play on two corners and two free kicks. That is obviously the 4 3 1 2 and how I set it up like so. Reese James does play centre back, Trent at right back, Mbappe right centre mid, Hullet and Bruno in the middle, Pele Cam, Ronaldo and R9 up front. Now, player instructions. Both my strikers are on getting behind and stay forward like so. My mid, my, I was going to say middle cam. My cam is on stay forward and get into the box for cross. My left centre mid and my middle centre mid are just on completely balanced settings. Apart from defensive position, put them both on cover centre, okay? 
And then your right centre mid is on get forward and cover centre like so. And then your full backs are on balanced attack and overlap. This will help them push further at the pitch and help you with your attacking play as well. So thank you for watching, guys. If you haven't already, drop a like on the video. Drop a comment down below as well. And also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also hit that bell so you do get a notification every time I do drop a brand new video. And last but not least, my Twitch, my Twitter and my TikTok are all down in the description below. If you want to come see me trigger the hell out of the TikTok FIFA community, then make sure you come see it. Trust me. Just look at my comments on TikTok. Uh, it's a funny place. And yeah, Twitch and Twitter. Peace out. But yeah, remember guys, spread the love and positivity. PMA, positive mental attitude. Peace out. One love.